Hey, good morning. I am on my way to some estate sales this morning. I can't film, probably. I don't even want to ask while I'm in there. But more importantly, I have to have my hands unfull. I can't be carrying a camera. I gotta be able to grab stuff. So what I'll do is I will um, show you what I got after. Okay guys, this is my haul for today. And I'm gonna go through it and just show it to you. I'm outside rather than haul it all in the house and get it out. All right, I saw this thing, didn't know what it was, but it is a speaker system and it will hook into the computer. I got this for $30. It's called Harman Cardone, I don't know. Anyway, they go for about $200 on the internet. Um, and when I was looking at it, there was a lady who has a record store and she was like, if that doesn't work, you bring it to me, I'll fix it. You know, I'll buy it from you. I mean, she was really wanting this. So for 30 bucks, I will put it in the dusty rows and hopefully somebody will come out and get it. All right. Um... This box with these deer on it. Oh, it's lacquer. And the top lifts out. And then there's some sort of key in here. I don't know if this key goes with it or how that is supposed to work. You know, I've got to go in and investigate everything and figure out what it is or what it's worth. There's a mirror in here. Um, let's look at the bottom. And I didn't pay $25 for it. There's no way I would pay $25 for it uh, because I have to resell. And when you have to resell, you've got to get it cheap. So, um, this, when I saw it, I was like, oh, that's got to be Mexican pottery. Isn't it beautiful? It's the red clay, it looks like. And it is signed on the back. But I'm gonna have to, it looks like Brazil maybe. I'm not sure. But this is just a beautiful plate. And um, so I think that's all for this box. Okay, then I was going through some stuff on a desk, and you should always go through stuff. Uh, and it's, you know, you see people's history and stuff, sometimes it's kind of sad, because you, you know, there's pictures and things, and, but this was there, and it says, Department of the Navy, United States of America, so of course I'm going to open that. And inside, there was a picture of Elvis here up in a tree. I don't know if it's valuable. Girl happy. Maybe he's singing. Maybe it's from a movie. I don't know. I'm going to have to look it up. And there was another one here. Probably from a movie. It looks like they're playing a game at a carnival. And then inside, the reason for... The blue folder here is, it says, Naval Ordnance Test Unit, United States. And there's a letter about appreciation letter um, to the military or maybe the, the guy um, to this man or... The commanding officer, it says, to Carolyn Ricks. So I've got to look that up. But people love history and especially military stuff. So that's what was actually in here. But the two Elvis pictures were in there also. I'm pretty sure I got this little bit of stuff here for a dollar. I'm pretty sure. 
and then there was a bunch of piano, how to play piano, how, you know, start with piano, and this was in there, Elvis Presley's Greatest Hits, Easy Play, so I guess this is how to play the guitar, but it's got pictures of Elvis in it, and it's got songs, the notes of songs, so that's going to be valuable. I don't know what. I've got to look it up. Um, Thousand Mile Gorges from a publishing house. What is this? It looks like a map, I think, is what um, I was thinking when I saw it. Uh, some sort of map. So I grabbed that. I mean, they probably threw it in for free because on the last day of the sale, everything is 50% off and then they're just wanting to get rid of stuff. So they're like, bulk, you know, take all this, it's yours. <laughs> Hang on. Okay, I think I got that stuff situated back in its box. I do not know what this is. The lady at the estate sale did not know what this is. If anybody knows what this is, let me know. But it's attached to this box, so I don't feel like it's ever been out. Um, it's made out of shells. And it's some sort of shells, I think. Um, the flowers are in really good shape. They've not been broken. I'm not sure what they're made out of, maybe shells. But I just thought it was cool. So, I grabbed that. Um, I, this is how I kept my egg cups from breaking. I found these little egg cups here by Velroy and Bach. I've heard that name before. And so there's, there's three of them. And I put them in these hats to keep them safe. Um, the USSR America CV-66 cap. Um, so there's one of those. And then I, I found this vase. I don't know if it's old. I just thought it was so pretty. It's got a lot of crazing on it. Sometimes the Chinese will make something look old by putting crazing on it. Sometimes it's actual crazing because it is old. But the bottom doesn't look that old. Although it does somewhere. Yeah. It has some initials or something there. So I have to figure out what that is. Oh. Here's another hat. The USS George Washington and Virginia Beach made in the USA. I don't know if these are military caps from the person who was in the military that got that honor or if these are military caps that they just bought, you know, somewhere. I don't know. This one is, uh, the USS America, it's a ship. Baseball cap. Yeah, I don't know if these are like authentic military or just something you pick up at a tourist place. I don't know. Now, all of this glass <laughs> was still there. I do not believe it's Murano glass. The bottom is smooth, but I just feel like it's probably from China, but I don't know. There was a sticker um, on this bigger one. Isn't that cool? Like an S. So there's a bigger one. Then there was the ship. Ship. The sailboat. Isn't that pretty? That's all glass. Um, and here's another bird. Maybe this is one with, no. There's something somewhere with some, um, tags on it. 
that I can possibly look up, and it could be from China, although it didn't, it wasn't Chinese writing, but the Chinese do copy the Murano, so, you know, I just feel like, and I'm just going to have to wash this up, but isn't that cute? The fish, um, and I stole this stuff, I'm telling you. Here's a submerso. That's what this is called when the the glass is shows through the rounded part there. It's called submerso um, glass vase. It's very heavy. Maybe it's the paperweights here that have the the. Um, and of course, I did not pay ten dollars for them, folks. I couldn't and make any money. Um, yeah, so it says C foot root, I don't know, group designs American. I don't know. I'm hoping since if it is American that it's not Chinese, and I'm hoping that all these are not Chinese, but, I mean, if they are, there's still a market for them. These um, are really pretty, these paperweights. And so, I'm hoping that can get some good prices out of that. Then we went to, I went, we, I went to someone's house who does needlepoint, a lot of needlepoint. I mean, there was all kinds of thread and patterns, a lot, but I just thought this is super cute. Of course, I'll keep it for Christmas, so I got that, and then this one, I just thought this was cool. And she put some beading in her, I guess those are beads, in the needle point. So he looks like a wizard in the ocean. I just thought that was cool. I suspect some young person will buy that. But you never know. You never know because I think it's cool. Um, this is first American in space. And it's a poster. I looked at it. This is terrible that I don't know his name. But it's a poster. And I'm sure I can resell that in the booth. This is... It says, Turn of the Century Fan Greetings with Envelope. So I guess it's a card that you could send to somebody. But that's just neat, and it's never been opened, so it's in perfect condition. A lot of people like to collect paper stuff, and uh, what is the word for it? Uh, I can't think of the word, but there's a lot of collectors out there for that kind of stuff. This is a cookbook. And let me see who this was. Oh, it says the Holy Cross Women's Club, Merry Christmas, 1969, uh, Deerfield, Illinois. And so all the ladies made a cookbook, it looks like. I don't want a cookbook. At my age, I'm, I'm over cooking. <laughs> but a lot of people like old cookbooks. Um, and this one, these cookbooks were bought at the same place that I got the... Um, the United States commemorative appreciative letter. So this one says the ladies of the United States Intelligence Center recipes. And it has this lady's name on it. And so they evidently made a cookbook, which I thought was pretty cool and that somebody would be interested in. And here is a receipt of some sort. I believe it's from the military, if I remember. The Department of State. Oh, it's a medical laboratory results for this lady. And she stuck it in here, but the date is 1990. Um, so 
So that's, what is that sticking out? You always have to check things out. Oh, it's just marking a page. But you do, you just never know what's gonna be stuck inside of something. <laughs> this is an Orlando Sentinel well, from the year 2000. And I got that because my son was born in 2000. Either one day he'll go, oh, this is cool. Mom grabbed this for me or he'll throw it in the trash. More than likely, he'll probably throw it in the trash. But it's the news that was happening in the Orlando Sentinel in the year 2000. And then there was also a Florida Today. So, I thought it was neat. We will see what he thinks about it. Um, oh, my feet. Um, my let's see. This looks like redware. It says Japan on it. It might be a napkin holder, and the reason I say that is because there are two candle sticks that match it. And it's vintage, I'm sure. I'm just going to have to look it up. I'm outside. I don't want my paper to blow away. Um, oh, here they are. So these are matching candle holders and they're red clay and I believe it's called redware so and here's the other one then I found some depression glass in this color of teal I'm running out of storage on my phone and my battery's dying. Um, so, the other things that I got were... Um, that's another one of those smaller candlesticks. And there was a whole bin, like this bin that I'm working out of, full of molds, tin molds, jello molds. And they didn't look old or expensive or anything, but um, I dug. And as I dug, I found some molds that do look older. And so you, that's, a, again, I've said before, I've said before, you've got to dig and you've got to look around. So I'm just going to show you the molds you can see them there because like i said i'm running out of battery in storage i'm not sure what that storage is all about i'm not sure how to get more storage and here's some more of the depression glass it's a different kind of candle holder um, what is this oh there's a couple of pieces that say Bavaria and they're hand signed, so they're from Germany. And I had tried to look up the name while I was there. They're in excellent condition. Oh, let's see. I want to break something as it finds on but here's one of them isn't that beautiful and the person's name is William Leeper 1958 but the other one says Germany on it and has his name and maybe it's the same year or the year earlier but that is so pretty I think this is called a nappy dish not sure but I bought both of those so it was a fun day um you know, I got lots of things to go look up and to list, and I just want to share them. You all can follow me on Marketplace and see what I sell. Um, Elaine Matthews Latham, Elaine Latham, Kentucky Girl. You can watch me on YouTube because that's where these videos go. Um, so, that's it for today. Bye.